Compound curves are two simple curves joined together at PCC where they share a common tangent. Learn compound curves with examples in engineering surveys. A compound curve is created by two simple curves. So if a simple curve with a certain radius 1 and central angle 1 is connected with another simple curve with radius r2 and central angle delta 2, a compound curve is formed. A compound curve has the centers of the curves in one direction, as the image shown. Both the centers are below the curves. In order not to get confused, we denote the elements of the first curve with 1 and the second curve's elements with 2. Extending the backward tangent of the first curve and the forward tangent of the second curve will intersect at the vertex V or point of intersection PI. And the angle delta they form will be the sum of both central angles. At PCC or point of the compound curve, the tangents of both curves will also form a straight line and they are combined to be the common tangent, where t is equal to t1 plus t2. The common tangent and the pi also form a triangle, which is called the vertex triangle, where it contains the central angles of the curves delta1 and delta2, the common tangent with t1 plus t2, and the other angle is computed as 180 degrees less delta 1 minus delta 2. For now, let's denote the sides of the vertex triangle as A and B, and they can be computed by using sine law. Example number 1. The long chord from the PC to PT of a compound curve is 300 meters, and the angles it makes with the longer and shorter tangents are 12 degrees and 15 degrees respectively. If the common tangent is parallel to the long chord, A, find the radii of the two curves, and B, if station PC is 10 plus 204.3, find station PT. The first curve from PC has an angle of 12 degrees, and the second curve has a central angle of 15 degrees. With both central angles given, we can compute the delta of the compound curve as their summation, and that is 12 degrees plus 15 degrees, which is equal to 27 degrees. Another given is the length from PC to PT, which is 300 meters. So if we connect PC and PCC, then PCC to PT, we can form a triangle. Recall that the line from PC to PCC is the long chord of the first curve. And same is with PCC to PT as a long chord of the second curve. Also discuss in simple curves that the curve created by tangent 1 and the long chord of the first curve is half its central angle, which is 6 degrees. It is again similar with the second curve from PT, and that is 7 degrees and 30 minutes. It is also stated in the problem that the common tangent is parallel with the long chord. So we can conclude that the remaining angles for the triangle we created are 6 degrees, and 7 degrees 30 minutes, then with 180 degrees less 6 degrees less 7 degrees 30 minutes, we have 166 degrees 30 minutes. So we have completed all the elements of the triangle. Determine the radii of the two curves by sine law. We can have the relationship 300 is to sine of 166 degrees, 30 minutes, is to the long chord of the first curve, all over sine of 7 degrees, 30 minutes, which is also equal to the long chord of the second curve, all over sine of 6 degrees. And long chord 1 is taken as 300 times sine 7 degrees, 30 minutes, all over sine of 166 degrees, 30 minutes, which is equal to 167.74 meters. The long chord is also computed as 2R sine of half of delta. 
so we can compute for radius 1 as 802.36 meters. Do the same process with the second curve. Start with the relationship in sine law, which would give the long chord 2 as 134.33 meters, and draw out R from the same formula, which would then be 134.33 all over 2 sine of 15 degrees all over 2, which gives 514.55 meters. For station PT given station PC, we need the length of the curves, and from the formula, L only needs radius and central angle, which we already know. So L1 is 802.36 times 12 degrees times the conversion of 2 pi all over 360 degrees, giving us 168.05 meters. L2 is solved similarly, and it would yield 134.71 meters. So start from PC with station 10 plus 204.3. Add the length of the first curve, which is 168.05, and we get station PCC as 10 plus 372.35. Then again, add the length of the second curve, which is 134.71 meters which gives station PT as 10 plus 507.06. Example number two. Two tangents that intersect at an angle of 44 degrees, 36 minutes, are to be connected by a compound curve. The tangent at PC is 125.7 meters long, and that at PT is 155.6 meters long. The degree of the first curve on the PC is 4 degrees using arc basis. A. Determine the radii of the curves. B. Determine the central angles. So the length of tangent from PC to PI is 125.7 meters, and that from PI to PT is 155.6 meters. With a degree of the first curve as 4 degrees, we can solve for the radius 1 as 1145.916 divided by 4, or that is 286.5 meters. So how do we solve radius 2 after learning radius 1? We need to integrate the given values with the unknown. So if we focus on the radius from center O to the PC, we can say that the excess can be written as R2 minus R1. Thus, we can integrate the first curve's radius. From the excess, we can create a triangle, but we need to figure out a right triangle to use trigonometric functions. That is done by projecting lines to make a quadrilateral. So if we project the line from PT to PC, we can form a right triangle. And then we also project the line PI to O downwards to complete the quadrilateral. Thus, we can determine a right triangle at point O. So far, we know that one side will be R2 minus R1. Starting with one right triangle, the hypotenuse is given length of 125.7 meters, and one angle is identified as the transverse angle of delta. From here, compute the other angle beta as 180 degrees minus 90 degrees less 44 degrees 36 minutes, which would turn out as 45 degrees 24 minutes. Moreover, the sine of 44 degrees 36 minutes is equal to A all over 125.7 meters, and A comes out to be 88.26 meters. The cosine of 44 degrees 36 minutes is equal to B all over 125.7 meters. So B is computed as 89.5 meters. Now complete the elements of the other triangle. As it is a right triangle and the other angle is delta, the third angle will also be beta, which is taken as 45 degrees 24 minutes. Sine of delta is taken as C all over 286.5 meters, which would turn out as C equals to 201.17 meters. 
cosine of delta is d all over 286.5, giving us d as 204 meters. So by completing the quadrilateral, we get the given side of 155.6 and at b, which is 89.5 meters. From the other side, we previously computed d and a. We can then solve the small side E from the parallel projection. So it turns out that E is taken as 43.93 meters. This value is one side of the triangle. Then take F as the summation of D and A, which will yield F equal to 292.26 meters. Knowing F, the other side of the triangle is then taken as R2 less F or 292.26. So we can simplify the elements of the triangle as follows. And by Pythagorean theorem, we can say that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of both sides. So that is R2 minus 286.5 squared is equal to R2 minus 292.26 squared plus 43.93 squared. Expand the equation and simplify it as 11.52 R2 is equal to 5,263.5, which leads to R2 as 456.9 meters. How about the central angles? It shows from the figure that one angle in the analyzed triangle is actually delta 2. And since we have a right triangle, we can say that the tangent of delta 2 is 43.93 all over 164.64. So delta 2 is then computed as 14 degrees 56 minutes. Then lastly, delta is given as 44 degrees 36 minutes. And it is also the summation of delta 1 and 2. So we simply deduct delta 2 from it to have delta 1 and that is 44 degrees 36 minutes less 14 degrees 56 minutes which would turn out as delta 1, giving us the value 29 degrees 40 minutes.